Hey guys, Nikki here and I am going to show you guys this V part wig from Eunice Hair. I love Eunice Hair. Very good quality. I can always depend on them to send me the best wigs, okay? Like I said, this is a V part wig. I'm not wearing it like one, but basically a V part. No leave out, no gel, no glue down, no sprays, none of that. And you don't have to like do anything major. Just put it on and snap. Um, but girl, the original way my forehead be looking so big. So I'm going to show you guys the original way to wear it and this little comb over method that I'm going to do. So yeah, let's just get right into the install of this so you guys can see the vlog. <laughs> all right guys so thank you Eunice hair for sending this over to me I will leave the links below along with any discount code that I have they have quad pay after play corner those type of options if you want to split it up very simple throw on and go very quick like if you got that quick date and your hair ain't done slap this on I guarantee you I guarantee you you still gonna be cute all right so like I said I will leave all of the links below let's move into the rest of the video buddy be happy this week i made that mama come hey boy boy hey i made that mama come home and clean this tank these turtles are a lot of maintenance guys please don't think oh cute little turtle no and she'll get some attitude like a mug because she'll be having to clean this tank but she been for this turtle for years you're gonna take care of it he's a hot boy boy he eating for frank what that bush do to you? Oh, he trying to get that food, y'all. Let's see if he get it. Oh, he got it. What did he? Good boy, boy. He running. It scares us. Can you feel a brand new day? What, sugar? 
Gotta go to the warehouse because it's icing and snowing. So I gotta go ship y'all orders before it get bad. <laughs> That's what she about to do. Then I'm gonna come back and show y'all some things. Can I sing to you? Sugar, can you cook us a TikTok recipe? She's a nice one. She won't do nothing for me no more, y'all. Girl, I'm looking in the fridge right Girl, when I asked her, about? she took my son. Because I was looking in the refrigerator. Girl, get out the camera because you're dusty. No. What TikTok recipe? With that salmon. Because I kind of want to cook today. With that salmon in there. The rice one? Let us talk about this because... People become teenagers and don't want to assist their mama anymore. I just said I feel like cooking today. I feel like chicken tonight. You don't know that you get it. So that's before your time right there now. I'm going to work real quick, briefly. I thought I saw red berry, y'all. And then I'm going to come back and show y'all. I got some new perfume, of course. I'm going to show you guys how I did my Juliana bottles. I'm going to show you guys... uh. Something else I discovered with those Juliana bottles, but that's I gotta go and come back before it starts snowing again or icing. So, yeah, I can do some of my stuff from home, but the rest I gotta go to the warehouse. So, I'm gonna put Tweet leggings on sale for ten dollars. They are just like the Libra leggings, but they are Capri, they fall a little shorter. Hey, put on some boots if you want them to have the Libra legging effect, but they are all standard. So, that link will be below, they will be ten dollars. And let me go, cause girl, girl, bro, I'm about to change my mind. <laughs> you about to lose your job, <laughs> cause bro, we got the turn. Y'all see those sugar shit? It's called hot and cold. Woo, woo, yeah. Can't even see our neighborhood. <laughs> Look at little sugar in a bunny going to work today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord, let's see how many degrees it is out here. 27. Golly. All right, guys. So this is a new store they put by me. It's called Black Friday. They have deals. Tuesday, dollar day. Today is Wednesday, so it's 50 cents day. So me and Suge debating on if we want to go in. My camera died, so I'm on my phone. Suge said, yeah. It don't matter to me. Because what do we need? But still, we don't need nothing at all. So I'm going to just tell y'all, it's on Wheatland and Cedar Ridge in Duncanville, okay? Me and Shook, we're not going to go because we have everything a girl, a queen and a princess could imagine. But I'm quite sure you can go in here and find some good deals. I know y'all want me to go in here for y'all, but we trying to get home before it ice bad. So I'll come back Friday. What's Friday deal? Seven dollars. Damn, now nah, today 50 cents day. We need to go on over to Ben now, sugar. You think I should just run in there and see what they got? You can stay in the corner. It's up to you. Should don't give should don't care. Honey, I look exactly like what I've been through. Okay. So since I have y'all here, let me just show y'all this real quick. Juliana, y'all saw the video. I hope y'all watched it. Well, what I did was went ahead and um labeled under here what they're duping last night i used my rollo because you guys know that my label maker is at the warehouse so i did that so first things first and you guys know when i did the review i told you guys that they send you two travel or sample sizes of whatever it is that's in there with them but they didn't they send you one and then a scent that you didn't pick to try so Here's all of my samples right here on my vanity. You guys remember my cousin brought this over for me for Christmas. So I just have like regular samples from the store here. This is designer and this is like niche. So the second layer is just like one roll of all um, a Gucci mini. And those are the testers from Juliana. Third layer is the actual extras that they sent me so let me just unsnap this so you guys can know what i'm talking about in the juliana the perfume came with two of these so one of them was what i ordered and the other one was something to try new i thought it was two of what i ordered if that makes sense so yeah i can't remember it was two of these i really love the rest of them was like mm. i think it was this one simply gorgeous and 
this one. No, 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 no. Simply Gorgeous and Call Me By Your Name. But that was so, I love that. They send you a travel and something new to try. So, yeah, I didn't discover that till after the video. So that's what I'm telling y'all now. Also, if you have the Sony, me and Miss Creative Diva was trying to figure this out. Is there anyone that know why it um just cuts on? Like if I put it in my purse, sometimes if I sit it down, I look up, the camera's just on, and I'm like, that's why the battery is always low. Because the camera just be coming on out of nowhere. So I'm thinking that it's a feature or something that like when you touch the camera and turn it on and they can be turned off. You know what? I make the like some of y'all. All I gotta do is Google it. Yeah, some of y'all be asking me stuff, and I'm like, all I gotta do is Google it. <laughs> y'all wanna fight? Who wants some? Who wants smoke? Yeah, because I just called y'all out. Also, if you're into perfumes like me, Makari. Make sure you go on Makari before you buy anything. So I got an order from Makari. It was shipped in this, honey. It was shipped in that. But I got, I think I told y'all, Joe Malone. Nectarine Blossom and Honey. I got the dossier version, so I'll leave dossier link below because their version is like $39, I want to say. Might be $29, $49. Their niche and higher end perfumes are not $29. They're higher. Um, but as you guys can see, you see how much is in As you guys can see, you see how much is in here? It's under half. So I paid $30 for this. Okay? This is a $180 bottle of perfume, I want to say. But I only paid $30 because the person, <laughs> girl, you almost to use it all now. You don't want it no more. <laughs> now, I get it because I'm thinking of doing it with my little gentle fluidy gold. Like, just go ahead and sell it because I got a whole big bottle now. But then that allows someone like me who wants to try it and who not going to go through a full bottle of perfume anyway is me because I have so many for $30. So, I thought that was a steal. Thought it was a steal. Just make sure you read the listings on her and read the reviews. To make sure they are a trusted seller. And so, yeah, here's my little $30. Joe Malone. <laughs> Y'all hey nature. And the last thing I want to show y'all today. Y'all like my little press songs? I got them from the beauty supply because I had to do a video. And sis won't go do them with no nubs and wasn't in my nail tech outfit. Y'all see how I got all this Tiffany and Co jewelry? So I have been, the only one I wear all the time, where is it y'all? It's right here. It's the Return to Tiffany. Hold on. It's the Return to Tiffany, but it has the black splash. I wear it all the time. And the reason why I don't wear my other pieces is because I need to get a chain for them. I literally just bought the pendant. I don't know if that's available. I mean... I literally just bought the pendant, so I need, it's like three pieces over here, maybe two, that I need to get a necklace for, and I got it off of Amazon, so they should be here today, and I will show y'all that and all of my other pieces. I've showed you guys before. Um, The only other ones that's not in the box is this one right here. It's a Return to Tiffany bracelet. These are super expensive, guys. I bought that on myself one Christmas. Hold on. Y'all little free and calling. I need to quit saying it. It is y'all little homeboy. That's who it is. Yes, sir. I'm finna leave. Okay, well, you better hurry up. It's getting bad. Well, it's hard right out here. I just came back in. How you gonna tell me? You, you slashing your daddy? Nope. <laughs> okay. You stopping or you coming straight in? Do you feel like going by the post office? If you don't feel like it, you don't have to. Uh, I pick my mail up Friday. I go get it Friday. Okay. All right. Y'all see how I go above and beyond for everybody in my house, and then when it's me, they oh, uh, uh, Nicole do that too. Y'all still be talking about I'm mean, but I'm just a giver and a nurturer, and I do so much for people. I just be wanting it back sometimes. And by the way, when I was at dinner with Kiki, she was like, y'all be saying she mean to Steven under her videos. Why do y'all do that? Y'all Do y'all really feel like if we were mean to these people, they'll be with us so long? She been with her husband 20 years. I've been my wife 11. It look mean to y'all, but do y'all even have a man or woman?
<laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, dang, I want all the smoke today, right? Because y'all gonna want to fight me because it's like I'm shooting slugs, huh? I'm shooting slugs. I'm just asking. Like, I, I really want to know, like, all the people who be on the video tomorrow, y'all you know, mean to them. Do y'all be having a partner? Answer below. Be honest. I ain't gonna block it this time because I'm asking. <laughs> I'm not going to block it. Just be like, I'm one of the people who say you be being me and I don't have a boo or I do have a husband. I really want to know. I'm curious. So anyway, y'all just know that to us, that's not being mean. That's the how the relationship is. It's a passive and it's an aggressive person on camera. It come off mean, but if we was truly mean to our partner, they wouldn't be with us. Okay. So I really um wish I could have got a, more chains like this. Cause I really, really like it. So I hope I like the chains from Amazon. It's a little thicker than what Tiffany and Co will give you. And I got another bracelet down here. I can go ahead and show you guys that real quick. I love them. Like I was saying, um, one Christmas, you know how I treat myself every Christmas instead of getting a like high end handbag. I just bought a lot of Tiffany stuff. Here's another bracelet. Now this bracelet right here, I can't lie. I was contemplating on selling it because online, them little circle things look big. They all say return to Tiffany and they just go all the way around. But in person, mm, yeah. So, mm. and then y'all like it. Y'all like it, I might sell it. See, I got it with the pink splatter and I think I got it with purple also. But I'll show y'all when I'm getting putting them on the necklace. But I do have another necklace I want to show y'all because when I haul these this Christmas, what, that one Christmas, I left this necklace out. Hold on. So heads up, this is stainless 9.25 silver, and it do tarnish. So you got to keep wipes with this stuff. It'll go right back, but you got to keep wipes. So this is the envelope necklace. And right here, let me see if it's going to show because it's so small. It's a Tiffany & Co. And you can open the envelope. As you guys can see, it's coming apart. So it has a necklace. So I'm going to go ahead and hang that up. So I can start wearing my stuff, y'all, because this shit ain't cheap. And when I hired this, y'all was like, I need the link, I need the link. Like it was bougie items or replicas. Now, nah, mama, go, go hop over to Tiffany for this. Like a couple of the pieces are discontinued, but yeah, I don't have no link for these. I'm quite sure. I know that they, they duping them, but these are authentic. So if you're interested, this came from Amazon. I absolutely love it. It keeps my jewelry untangled, tarnish free. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And I think I got it for $89. I did a video putting it together. That was another one that I wish y'all didn't really watch. And you close it and it has a mirror on it. And you turn the light off up here. Make sure I'm turning it off. Oh yeah. Love it. I will link it. It's from Amazon. The system put on them cute little dormy pajamas. Sugar's hating on me. She didn't think I had some warm pajamas. <laughs> Andy. I gotta do a Instagram promo for them. You gonna help me with a thing? Oh shit, she ain't just like Frank. He get it from you. Mm -hmm. She cleaned this tank, y'all, by the way. Yep. Cause yeah, I put you on blast in last week vlog. Andy. Um, Andy. To my defense, the tank was clean before I left. It don't matter. It was and, you know, and, you know, and you know it was clean because if it wasn't clean, you would have never let me leave. So y'all know I got Juliana's in the review. I didn't like this. A night to remember. It is the dupe for Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. In the review, I said that it smells just like benevolence from House of Siage and BDK Rue Smoking. Guess who agreed this time? It do, don't it? it <laughs> Let me smell your arm. And you love that, huh? Mm -hmm. She loves, they said this, this, not this, but what it's inspired by is Rihanna's signature scent. What everybody say Rihanna smell like. Mm -hmm. You, know, I mean, everybody used to say Rihanna smells so good, smells so good. And it was, it was not this. It was love, don't be shy, she was wearing. Mm -hmm. I can't get, it's just too sweet to me. Like, I love sweet, but like, she, I'm telling you, the only reason why I love BDK Rouge Smoking is because she loves it so much. But it smells just like this, this, and this to me, but she finally agreed. As soon as I <laughs> smelled this, I said, This smells just like what Bay loves. 
The nose coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, if you like um any of those scents, House of Siage Benevolence, BDK Rue Smoking, Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Here's a sixty dollar alternative because I all them two hundred dollars and up a night to remember by, and I got a ten percent off code. Ten off. I ain't keeping this. <laughs> it, it might be in my next giveaway, honestly, because I'm keeping BDK and House, I'm keeping House of Sea Eyes because I love the cupcake. I'm keeping BDK because Nicole love it. I don't need to inspire by something that smell like that. So. It don't stink. It's just overly. It's like a weird sweet to me. Like the the church the church mother sweet. Like you know that lady at the church that's always so sweet and got all the candy. That's what that smell like to me. Come on, let's smell it on you again. It's full of caramel. Can you smell the caramel? I, don't know. I feel like they will be good mixed with something. So it's the next day, and this is my backyard. There is no snow, but there is plenty of ice. Take your ass out there if you want to. Nicole wants to work, but I'm staying in still because y'all saw last week I already had a wreck of myself. I don't need no more problems, okay? So even my recycle froze, the top froze. I finally like, and guys, I finally like my wick trimmer. I understand the importance of it now, and I absolutely love these candles. So if you did check out a vlog, two vlogs ago maybe, I got these candles from Goose Creek to test them because they're way cheaper than Bath & Body Work. And oh, I absolutely love them, guys. So I'm gonna order some more, but I'm not in a rush, cause yeah. All right, so it is Nikki reporting live from the bed because it is cold as fuck outside and I am not going out. What you hear in the background is my daddy making a lot of noise. I don't know what the heck he's doing, but let him do it. So I come to you today to update you on Black Friday, this store, which I inserted yesterday, but did not get my black ass out because it was too cold. Hear me out. I went into the neighborhood app and the store is full of Amazon returns. So it's basically like a thrift store. Big bins, you gotta dig, dig, dig. And you might get lucky, you might not. But it is full of Amazon returns. They get new products daily, and that's what it is. Who's not gonna go dig? It's me. But so that's that. You guys can try your luck, but I'm not. Because, <laughs> like me and Big Shook said yesterday, we don't need a thing. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, the ice is melted. I'm gonna go run a few errands. I got some bills to pay. It ain't the first, but <laughs> she finna pay them. So the first, she can do what she wanna do. You don't tell me when to pay my bills. Do you understand? Okay, and then um, I'm going to try to run a city trend and find Pretty Bree. No, not Pretty B, Bree. I love her, but Pretty V perfume. You know, something else that was on my agenda. It's like a real quick bloop, 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 one, two, three. Because it's still cold out here and I need to get back in the house because I'm expecting some Valentino luggage that they absolutely cannot just leave on my porch. And some fashion foul shoes, so. And y'all look, I'm going to call him y'all homeboy. Y'all homeboy, which is my daddy. Be having a doctor's appointment every other day. Some ain't adding up, y'all. Because first of all, why don't you go to the VA hospital and sign up for therapy? For what? Did me come home every day to my he saw? Why don't you go there and sign up for therapy like you've been in a car wreck or something? And then... Anyway, y'all. So he done left my truck, and I really don't like driving my car right now. Y'all see, I just wrecked it last week. I rather jump in my truck and wreck it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to make this quick look and come right on back, right on back. So I'm at City Train. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be lucky, but hey, it's worth the trying to get out the house because I've been in the house two days. And guys, let's just see. Let's just go. See, they don't have a display. They just got her stuff spreaded out everywhere. 
I'm gonna look. So I want to This is my. How much is this? guys so as you guys can see I did manage to get the night now I'm looking for day this smells really good I ain't gonna lie but it was only ten dollars so if it don't last then I did get some press-ons which I feel like I could have got cheaper at the beauty supply they were ten dollars too because these that I did get from the beauty supply keep falling out and I think I want to go like I think I want to go like two more weeks before I um, get my nails done because the hair got so unhealthy, of course, because of, you know, everything that I went through. And um, ever since then, I've been wearing acrylic. And so I think that they were so thin and that's what was causing them. Uh my pink is especially to break all the time i'm sorry this nicole so uh let me see i'm trying to see it's one city trend like they had that at the register people probably been stealing that shit that's so wrong for me to assume that but why else would they have only that one at the register i'm trying to see If it's, I know it's one by my cousin. Yeah, let me ask y'all a question. And I've been on one this vlog. Why do some of y'all, when I post a vlog, why do y'all comment in other places? The vlog is on YouTube. So why do y'all come to Snapchat DM and Instagram DM and come in on something that happened in the vlog? Did not hear me with your long head ass. I just really want to know that because it's stressful enough. I know we complain a lot as YouTubers and y'all like, damn, because y'all look at this like it's an easy job. But this is probably stressful, more stressful than y'all nine to five. We got to worry about deadlines, quotas, um, numbers, it, getting hated on all the time, mean comments. We got to worry about all that. And it's just overwhelming to like have a a message, a, a DM full of messages and you come in and on what happened on the vlog, like leave it under the vlog. That's like more places I got to answer questions because I try my best. Here lately I have been terrible at it because it's just getting overwhelming now. I try my best to respond to people, but like if you're watching a vlog, I'm trying to use an example. If you're watching a vlog like my vlog my last vlog if you watching that vlog why would you come to instagram and say oh my gosh you wrecked your car why would you and then what am i supposed to respond to that and say duh you saw it in a vlog like you get what i'm I, it's really hard for me to express myself without sounding mean because i'm just i'm just a straight up person hold on i'm trying to find out where the next city train in hampton and desoto nicole said this so i'm going the wrong freaking way she did say this. She did say this. What is my shortcut? So I'm trying, you know, it's just a lot. So like, I would appreciate it. Like, just leave that under the vlog. Can you not come in under the vlog? My niece is y'all, let me go. Train look close. Oh, it ain't, <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Hey, see y'all in this one. She got a whole display, huh? That perfume ain't on it though. Got some wrap snaps. Yeah, they didn't even get any, so this was a blank trip. I should have known because they damn near look closed. Do you hear me? <laughs> 
Oh, the, oh yeah, open. <laughs> Last one, guys. If they don't have it, I'll just be happy with the one I got. All right. Look, y'all, we on store number five, but I really don't have nothing to do today, and we were snowed in, so it ain't bothering me. It ain't nobody at home, so I had to get the heck up out of there before I get depressed. Let go. Hi. Hey. Boom. Finally found both of them in one store. Jackpot finding in the boat and they sold me the tester it was still full for five dollars so i'm gonna just send this diva like the brand new night and day and i'm gonna keep the tester to the day and i'm headed home i also got some press ons but this battery is always low per use so i try to show them to y'all if i don't if it die i'll show it to y'all when i get home y'all this is a good city trend and it's ducked out i'm gonna start coming to this one it's real clean and neat oh that's my first press on Let's see y'all. Just said I barely got some juice. Girl, these press ons was $2.99. Hope they ain't like real thin and flimsy. I got these. Look how cute them are for $2.99. And then I got these. They was $2.99 too, I think. Girl, look at my hair. I'm out like a mad woman. Oh my gosh, look at these. These were $4.99. So, don't be sleeping on city trends. All right, y'all. The olive ripping and running. Bay got me good old fuel city. If you from Dallas, you already know. Kiki didn't went here without us. I'm going to take them, y'all. But she asked for a list of restaurants, and I sent her, like, some fancy stuff. She's like, no, I wanted the hood spots. I'm like, that's all you had to say. But we going to... Have a hood spot time when they come back. For real. Oh, the night, Kanye. I slurped my food down. How your food? Mine was okay. My chicken was a little dried out. Last call for Starbucks. You better get your coat. Boy, my coat's at the door. You got something to say? Huh? huh? You got something to say? I don't think so. I were in this house. Yes. Why you make me no breakfast? You want no. How you know? Did you ask? Say hey to your people. They love my daddy. Huh. <laughs> Baby, who loving these little four or five dollar press ons is me. Three dollars. I can't remember because I bought multiple. I think these are the five dollar ones. Girl, look at this. And I applied the hell out of these press ons, honey. Nail shop who? Who? Who said something? Now, for real, because I do need to take like a month or two break from the nail shop because for me being vitamin deficient, my nails are so thin. And, you know, every time you get them done, they drill in them, making them thinner. So I need to take like a two month break until all that drilling um, grow out. So I'm not going to. <laughs> but, yeah, right now, this is what's going to have to do because my nail tech at school getting her education and she'll drive home for me but why would i do that to her why why and y'all stop convinced trying to convince me to go to y'all people i told y'all why i support her she's in college she's trying to get it she's trying to learn and that's a good way you know for her to practice so i i, I wholeheartedly love the fact that y'all go hard for y'all nail tech but as of right now i'm not looking for a new one okay I really could have stayed at home and made my own bacon sandwich because I'm two Starbucks in and they don't have nothing. So I end up having to get a smoked bacon, a double bacon, and a strawberry acai. 
and the whole mission was a grilled cheese but that's my fault because I'm learning just like yesterday with City Train all you gotta do is call <laughs> they'll tell you before you take your black ass up there this is the true definition of testing my gangster cause I know goddamn well I said light ice Wedding shoes, like, you know, a name brand, a designer, you know, nice shoe. And look at the new So that's what we're headed to do. The first, we gotta drop these kids off at Blair's house. Um, last night was fun. I showed what I showed, just a little clips of it. No, what? Yeah. Oh, my bad. What? That's the washing machine. It's going out. All right, go to the door. Oh, man. So yeah, and I already about to go do that, shoot a few moves, and uh, okay, so we made it to the venue, and we're going to go in and meet up with the bride to be, and her matron of honor, which is her best friend, they at the bar, I did not know it was this late, it's 5 o'clock, it's 4 for you too, y'all. Stuff. We love stuff. And there's some really great stuff out there. But I doubt that any of us will look back on our lives and think, I wish I bought even thinner teeth. So now that we're back home, this is like way later, hours later. Loud hours later. Yeah, I'm about to make some pasta. I'm about to make some, um... Some, some, some lemon drops. Listen, this right here is way better than Tito's to me. It's smoother and you do not have headaches. Just a little FYI, you like to drink. All right, guys, I just finished this hair review. It will be at the beginning of the video. And sis is hot. So you guys know when I went to the doctor the last time, they wean, they told me to wean myself off of my PPIs, which is my stomach medication. I was doing good for a little bit, but then my body realized I ain't been having them. And like for like the past, ever since I went to that bridal try on with Miss Creative Diva, like that night, I have been having the weirdest nauseous spells. But what I will not do is get back on that medication because I'm trying to wean myself off of it. So that it feeds the purpose. It's like my body need it. But if I keep jumping back on it, I'll never wean myself off of it. So what I have to do is just like start eating right and because I haven't been lately. I'm finna eat some Kool-Aid pickles now because I'm gonna be nauseous. And I've been drinking a lot of my um liquid IV. You guys know I love this. One pack is equivalent to three bottles of water. I will leave my link below along with a discount code. That right there is clear, so it is the lemon lime. So yeah, let's get into y'all. I got a coupon. Well, let's get into what I got on. Nothing simple. My Coast Kitchen, Kitchen, Kissing Scene Bangles. I get, I actually have two gold, two silver, and three rose gold. Why do I have so many? Like, why? Because when I bought my rose gold in Vegas, y'all saw that when me and Bay went to Vegas. I was like, I'm going to stack them. And then I get home and I'm like, why did I buy three? So when I got silver and gold, I just got two. They do have other kind. Um... Some that actually say coach. These are like the Cartier Duke bracelets. Um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This bracelet is from Louis Vuitton. I don't know which one it is. If I can find it, I will leave it below. But it's like one of the cheapest bracelets you can get like this. It still ain't cheap, girl. It was like $250, but some of the other bracelets like that are like four and five, okay? So I do I showed you guys doing my makeup, some of it. I'm wearing Miss Creative Diva brow pencil, lashes, and yeah, so look what I got. 
finally, Bath and Body Works sent me some coupons, all right? So I was just happy to show y'all that. And I'm gonna try to swing to the outlet, okay? I did go and get both of Pretty V. If you guys didn't know, Pretty V is a social media influencer. She's a comedian, actually, on Wildin' Out and Everything. She collaborates with City Trend a big old bunch. She got a whole line with City Trend. And it's stuff that I really don't need. I showed you guys all of that. So I ain't gotta go into detail. I forgot I blogged all that, girl. What the heck I'm doing? So yeah, I'm so glad I could finally show you guys these. I told you I begged them to sell me the sample. Sell me the sample. I've been looking out for my friends. I sent my friend a new box and I kept the sample. Um, everybody's on TikTok. Ask me how do they smell? What's the nose, girl? How I'm supposed to know? If y'all can't Google them and find them, how y'all expect me to? Y'all think I know pretty be, be personally or something? I don't know, and y'all know I'm horrible at describing scents. I can just tell you if I like it or if I don't. That's all I can tell you. This right here, I'm gonna try my hardest. This is really, really kitty to me, though. This is like a. I wanna say rose. It's like an artificial rose scent. I don't even know what. I don't even know, but I think it sells faster because it's pink. I really do because it's not the best smelling scent out of the two. Not to me, it's not. And that did make it better, spraying it on that paper. Yeah, that's like rosy. This smells like it got amber and probably um, sandalwood or something in it. It's really sweet. I can spray this one on me because I like this one a lot. This I ain't gonna lie. This is this a real. This a lot pink sugarish. It is. Maybe that's why I like it. So that's the best I can do with that. Yeah, y'all better get the city train because people snapping me and everything, telling me how they out um get it because of my TikTok. So I so I did get some more Kool Aid cookies, girl. For uh, y'all did too, cause y'all turn them up. They are so good. I mean, turn the people goodie bag. So a lot of you guys were saying, I want to try them. They don't ship. I put the website below the last video so that you guys can see all they have to offer as far as flavors. But you text them, call them, email them, hit them on Instagram, hit them on Facebook. Whatever you got to do, they don't mind. They want to sell the pickles. And they will ship. So today I got, of course, my favorite, Johnny Apple Treat. Nope, that's not what it's called. Johnny Apple Seeds. So if you're familiar with hood candy, we got lemon heads, cherry plants, Alexander the Grape, Johnny Apple Seed. And that is what this tastes exactly like. My whole life I used to save my money. So after school, I can go to the candy house and give me some Johnny Apple Seeds in that little box. Okay, cherry plants, all them. But this is my favorite and these taste just like them. Also, there is Jolly Rancher. That's my other favorite. So I don't know what other two. This is the big bag. There's a $5 bag and a $10 bag. Online it might say six and 12, but I explained that in my last vlog with another company. Sometimes online is higher to compensate for shipping. So they did put straws in here, but honestly, I don't drink the juice. That's just too much sugar for me. And then they purple Jolly Rancher, okay. I told them to surprise me with the last two cents. And this one right here is red watermelon. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to try these on camera because I did my last vlog. I even let y'all take a bite. But I got them to do a TikTok with. Just know that they are good and I love them. It's, it, they say it's a southern thing. I don't know. When we were younger, we used to take our pickles and actually dip them in our Kool-Aid and stuff. But hands down, nobody pickles I've ever tried can compare to goodie bags. So, look, a lot of people going to try. Listen to Big Platt, though, and get them from Goodie Bag. Y'all understand me? Then my friend Teresa, the one I have my hair drops with, which are back in stock. I don't know if they will still be in stock by the time this video loads, but sent me a welcome mat. And I'm just going to put it on my back porch for now. And then it's so cute. And then put it on my front porch when I move. But you guys know I'm obsessed with ladybugs, and I absolutely love that rug. Okay? So I was telling you guys about... What was that this vlog? Yeah, I got some Tiffany and cold jewelry that I need to put on a necklace. So here is how it came from Amazon. I will leave the Amazon link below. Amazon is your plug. But be careful on there because sometimes they be getting over too. Price around first. You think you be getting a deal. Mm-mm. 
So this is what I got. I think these are like $12. I got $116, $118. I don't know which is which. Off inside the box is another bag. And I just got an ashy, y'all. I just got out the shower. I just got two chains, sterling silver 9.25, which is the best sterling silver for my Tiffany & Co. necklaces. So what I'm gonna do is snap the camera like this, and boom, we are back with my Tiffany & Co. drip necklace. This is the drip pink. I told y'all I wear the drip black all the time, but I didn't have a necklace for this one. So I am gonna keep my boxes though, because girl, it's Tiffany & Co. So I got this rag from Bay because like I said, silver jewelry do tarnish. And so I just clean up my pendants with this. I don't know where she got it from, but I do have a, the other one that I need to put on a pendant. I mean, on a, um, what you call it? Necklace. So I'm gonna just clean it up real quick. Just wipe it like this, it's that simple. And so, um, what else I gotta show y'all? Okay, this is gonna be a luxury haul since we already own luxury stuff. Um, Tiffany & Co. is luxury. So while I'm um, putting this on here, I did get some luggage. So as you guys know, one of my friends moved to China, her and her daughter, and um, she was just having a little bit of a rough time. So she asked me, did I have luggage? And I didn't have any extra luggage, but I gave her mine because I'm just like, I can always give me more luggage. And here lately, luggage isn't accessible as it used to be. I care everybody traveling on some, I guess. And so even if you go into like Ross Marshalls and stuff, it's really hard to find a whole set. And even when you do like the big luggage is 99, the middle one is 89, the small one is 79, you're still coming out almost $300 buying luggage so girl I was on sex I was on sex sex outfit and girl why they had a three-piece Valentino luggage set for $500 so let's get back on Tiffany & Co it's purple on the back and then on the front it's the return to Tiffany so let me show you the difference in the chain. See, 16 and 18. So I like this because I layer my necklaces a lot. So now I can take these and hang them in my jewelry cabinet so that I will wear them because as long as I still got the pendants in here, girl, I got these two Christmas ago and still have more of them. So that's that. Back on this, here is the receipt so I can tell you guys exactly what I paid. So, golly, all my information on here. I was going to show y'all, but it ain't no way I can cut my address and stuff out. Anyway, it is called the Columbus Polycarbonate Three-Piece Nested Set by Valentino, and it was $541. And let me tell you, let me tell you, for Valent Valentino, Valentino, that is a luxury brand. Three-piece luggage set? Y'all better run over there right now. You can't even get a... Uh, you can't even get a Bessie Johnson, you know, that cheap way you can, but Valentino, Bessie Johnson, you get what I'm saying? This set was originally a thousand and some dollars and it got marked down 58%. I clicked it and bought it so fast, but I'm going to take y'all with me and show y'all like this because sis ain't going to pick it up. So that, girl, that defeat the purpose because honey. Can't nobody see this still. Oh! Okay, y'all, but it is the three piece. <laughs> okay, let's see if it's on here. Valentino. Look, here you go. Originally $1,198. It's all black. It does say Valentino right there. So cute. And it's just the three piece. Here's my little bitty mini one. All three of them are made just the same. Girl, my butt about to knock over stuff. I'm just doing too much. So yeah, that's that. My first designer luggage set and I got it on sale. I'm so happy. Okay, girl, why did this zoom in on me? One more um, luxury item. 
I told you guys I was going to stop doing my spoiling myself because what they do is make it to where I feel like I have to be buying stuff to show in the video. It's weird. I can't explain it. But I did get some. I do need. I don't need nothing, y'all. But some designer tennis shoes. And I wanted denim. I got a lot of denim stuff coming in from Shein and stuff for some campaigns. I want more denim stuff to wear my denim, denim and diamond bag with. So I went through Fashion File and I got these brand spanking new. Um, brand spanking new. They were brand new. Fashion File do have new stuff. It's usually a pre-loved website, but a lot of times when there's like an overstock of stuff, designers will send their stuff to like Fashion File, The Real Real, etc. These were $702, y'all. And when I say I want to choke my own self, I'm going to just show y'all. If y'all have never seen a Fashion File box, it looks like that. It came with the calendar, everything, but this shit going back. I'm getting my $702 back because I'm so angry. So this is what it looked like right here. They put it. This is their dust bag. Yeah, I'm just so disappointed with myself because I be fussing at y'all about this and then I got got. Hang tight, I'll explain. So here's the box. All right. I got me some denim Louis Vuitton shoes and I absolutely love them. Absolutely, they came with an extra set of shoestrings like Louis Vuitton tennis shoes do, in case you've never purchased any. Um, here are the shoes. As you can see, brand spanking new. They did come with a dust bag. Two, actually. They give you one for each two. Shoe. Louis Vuitton do. But they're seven and a half. But in men. So these fit like freaking clown shoes on me. They so big on me. Like, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm irritated. I am so freaking irritated. Because... They don't have any more. And a seven and a half in men is like a nine and a half in women, which make it look like clown shoes on my feet because I'm a seven in women. So, I could just scream. I really could. Because, like, I don't understand how that wasn't. Like, it don't even say it on here, bro. It don't say that. It just say... Y'all see that? It say Louis Vuitton denim rubber monogram fashion low sneakers 7.5 navy. That's all it say. They gotta go back though. <laughs> they gotta go back. I was gonna sell them, but I'm like, why would I sell them? And I'm gonna have to lower the price to sell them when I could just send them back and get my full amount back. It doesn't make any sense. So, yeah. They going back. These things so goddamn good, y'all. Look, let me put them up. Let me put them up. Uh-uh, let me just eat this last look. This look. <laughs> mm. Well, look at her. Moo Moo Gang. Phone in my pocket. Let me take it out. Y'all, it says too close to my breast. Ta-da! <laughs> my life wasn't the same. I swear it was. Not over exaggerating. But y'all should see my recycle bin. I know these people be tired of this. What the hookers? My camera died. Because you know this camera full of it. It really died right when I said it. Like, right when I said it. Like, y'all saw it. So. This Sony and this battery, like, Lord, I don't know if the camera still be on or what, but it hurts my freaking soul. Like, why do y'all like this camera so much? Or do y'all just be get? See, YouTubers have this thing where they just want what everybody else have, and it don't even be the best stuff. I swear my kid and Bella. But I'm steady complaining instead of switching back to the Canon, but <laughs> I have both. I'm really trying to get this camera a try, but it's 
really disappointed me big time. Big, big time. So yeah, I don't know why I got the same exact one and that one didn't last a year. I mean, two years, but it's just I'm comfortable with it and I know how to use it. There is another brand that make a crumple one, but I decided to stick with this one. So here's the old one. Do I just regularly dispose of this? Like, hmm. All right, guys, we're headed out. I forgot to do a fit check, everything. Love these toy bridge earrings. I need to get the, these are the matte ones. I need to get the glossy ones. Amazon dress, Mark Jacob bag, Shein boots. Let's go. Every single time, it just hit it on the money, don't it? <laughs> yeah, what? 